Ready? Yeah. Ready? All right, scene two, take three. Action. Today we are um, shooting. And when I say shooting, I mean an extremely long process that most people cannot do. And when I say that, I'm probably lying. But this is why we're here. And I just said a lot without saying anything. Your, we, whenever we are on set, oh my alright, preacher. Of somebody's, <laughs> whenever we're on set of somebody's project, he's a preacher. They're gonna, I'm, 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 okay, I'm not in the light, I can't even see. It was just a shadow. Yeah. Now the boy. The focus is still on her. Because this is her project. Okay, so today we are working on the back. Today we're working on my project, so. Um, it's still untitled right now. Kind of. Today we're working on my project. Did it's still me? untitled right now. Action. I did. Did she hear me? I heard you. So today I'm working on my project and it's um right, it's like based around 90s hairstyles and you know the culture, you know. So yeah, let's um, do it. This isn't going anywhere. It's What's up, y'all, and welcome to another episode of Directing Life with Marcus. Here, I am starting to unpack some projects that I got that will never see the light of day, and I just want to find a way to make them see the light of day. So here I go. Um, this is a project that we did with KJ back when we first started Primacy Studios. And hold on, I got somebody I want to say something to y'all before. <laughs> did this back in i want to say 2020 2021 almost i'll just stick with 2020 and this was during a time where we we just started primacy studios and we wanted to start doing our own personal projects and the first person that had a personal project was kj and it was this we never got the title for it so yeah but this whole episode is just we got the gear for a few days so we were just like let's go to her house and let's practice towards this documentary right um we have finally just got the location of a beauty salon that was going to let us shoot inside there for free which was a steal bro it was amazing so we was going to shoot in there for free and i don't really know what happened the project just didn't just didn't see itself to fruition right and i'm still sad about this to this day and i just wanted to find a way to make this to find a way to edit this up and just show y'all what we had this wasn't the actual project uh i might do the action i might do one of the actual projects that we did for it on the next video but this video this was like the night we decided to finally practice on it and we were just you know what i'm saying getting our feet wet when it comes to how we should go about it uh the look of it the feel and everything what the test photos was going to look like and all that stuff and i don't got the test photos with me anymore but from what i remember 
they looked amazing so yeah you know what i'm saying they looked amazing and we over here like yeah yeah boy it's our first documentary boy about to turn up boy about to turn up boy you know what i'm saying tight shit tight shit tight shit you know what i'm saying and yeah we was over here just like hella excited this night and i don't re really remember what happened after this night um it was a lot of other stuff going on um you know when you a part of a team you got people that you know feel a certain type of way about every single thing i'm not saying that you know any of us felt any kind of type of way about each other you know, you know what i'm saying we all still rock with each other to this day at least most of us and yeah man i just this was a just a great night and at the end of the day this was going to be a great project and i i really just don't know what happened man but the whole thing was you know like you see those um what do they call those hair charts in the uh barber shops and in the beauty salons right so the whole thing was um it was like a nostalgia nostalgic project right uh we wanted to like tap into those creative hairstyles that used to be from the 90s like those finger waves and all that type of stuff you know what i'm saying and the whole thing was like uh kj was like her mom used to do that so her mom is gonna style everybody like do the hair and she just gonna take she's she just gonna take the photos right and i just thought that was a pretty dope project to put in, in her portfolio and i was just like yo like we need to document this and especially since we got our own creative team let, let's be our own media outlet at the same time like there's no reason why we can't do it like we got the camera skills we got the people that can help us we got you know whatever we, we need at our disposal like let's just go make it happen you know what i'm saying and that's the whole thing man like when you running these creative teams these, these creative agencies like you gotta be just on point with everything that you got going on like you gotta like go against the grain and just build your own projects and nobody is coming to help you so you gotta like make a name for yourself the best way you know how and the best way we know how to make a name for ourselves is just going after what we already desire to do you know what i'm saying and my whole thing was everything that we building right here we should document it and i just wanted to document it and just you know what i'm saying have actual projects that can have more than one type of medium right you know i don't think that it's cool that photographers can be so great but the only way of putting their stuff out is on a website or on social media specifically instagram right and i just was like yo like we you have a whole media team at your disposal like let's make a whole documentary like let's document the process like let's introduce this project to people and let's tell them who you are and what you got going on i just thought that was really cool i really really wish this project would have seen the light of day and this is just my way to help it flourish in some kind of way you know what i'm saying or at least just to show people what we were on what we were thinking at that time you know it's a lot of time that goes into these projects and a lot of them don't see the light of day and at the end of the day you feel like you're wasting time but one of these projects just didn't feel like i was wasting time so i appreciate y'all for listening and yeah just keep rocking with me i'm gonna keep doing this let me know in the comments if y'all like this at all you know what i'm saying I'll, I'll keep going i got a lot of projects you know what i'm saying so peace This isn't going anywhere.